Hey guys, what's going on? In today's video, I'm going to start pulling off the head of my car. And no, for anyone who's asking, the head gasket hasn't gone. It's just a leaky boy from every other gasket. And I'm also possibly changing my water pump. Depends if it's fucked or not. And I'm definitely changing my thermostat. The first thing we're going to do is start taking the manifold off and the downpipe. And to do that, we need to unbolt them from each other. I also need to fix the downpipe because the decap bits got a leak. And as I was saying earlier, there's leaks from everywhere. That's from the um, rocker cover gasket. And then we've also got a leak on the inlet side, I believe, and everything's just leaking everywhere. We have the bolts down there off, don't know if you can see. Uh, that flange is off now, it's time to get the manifold bolts off, which the bottom one under there can be a pain in the arse. Not gonna lie, this is the hardest part of the exhaust system to fit. Uh, well, not fit, fitting is pretty easy. Taking it off is the hard part. So, uh, got the manifold all unbolted now, and obviously unbolted at the bottom now, we've just got to undo the uh, lamber sensor, which is somewhere under the air filter. And then it's a case of messing it around coolant lines, trying to pull the manifold out, and then getting underneath the car to drop the downpipe. Manifold has been defeated. I want to restore this thing because it's pretty crusty. Look, by the looks of it, from visual inspection, there's, uh, there's no cracks, or at least not what I can see. I'll leak test it and see what I can find, if I can find anything. Okay, so just from a little bit of a visual inspection, as you can see, they're quite dry. Looks very, very uh, wet on this cylinder. So I might have had a slight exhaust leak from the manifold on that side. So it does look quite wet and it feels it as well. Which gives me a bit of concern. But on that side it's a little bit, on that side it's a, a lot more. So we've got to make sure everything's tight the next time we put it on. And make sure everything's all snug and ready. But So we're here the next day and I'm trying to get the inlet off. I've already started, so like I've cracked the bolts loose and whatnot. Oh, I've also got the timing cover off. And I come across a problem. See, the tensioner is there. It's not doing its job very well. And if you can see that massive wet patch, coolant leaked everywhere. Which also isn't a good thing, but I should have really thought about, you know, catching it in something. I did use a pan to catch the coolant, but it, it overflowed and went everywhere, so now my garage is covered in coolant. Right, so I've got three of the bolts off. The other three, well, the other four, three, four, should be quite easy. Should be is, well, should is the main word in that. So guys, I've got all the bolts off. Now hopefully, if we get a bit of a shake, a bit of a twist, it'll come off. I think that angle will do. Right. What's it stuck on? Something's stopping it. By the looks of it, it's got an aftermarket gasket on it. This is a very awkward position to be in. So we're back again with this bloody 
inlet manifold and this is the weird contraption I had to use to get the inlet on. But what I had to do was basically unbolt the dipstick holder for my bobber and hopefully I can get this off. I'm currently now on my engine. I think I've got, ele uh, got electrics to disconnect. Right, that's not disconnected, but we'll not worry about that for now. Oh, the relief of taking this off. Yeah, the fuel rails and the injectors are still connected, but we're free-ish. Like, there's still obviously bits what need to come off. Well, I'm not taking the whole inlet off. I'm not taking it off the car. There's no point. It's not like it's a plenum or anything. What I could get painted. So there's no point me taking it off. I've obviously already got injection there in blue. But it, it's off. That makes it a hell of a lot easier for me. You can see there. You can see where it's been leaking. It's split. It's gone a bit crusty. And it's split on the bottom of uh, this injector. And I think the rest are all right. Oh no, this one as well. The first two injectors have got like splits in the seal, which isn't great, but <laughs> you can see all the fucking coolant on the floor. You can see down there, that little spring and that little dimple in that piece of steel, it, uh, I think it's steel, are meant to line up with each other and it doesn't. That's why the belt has so much slack. Like that's not meant to happen, but it ran fine, the timing was clearly fine because it ran right, and as you can see, there, like, exhaust points down, inlet points down, and then the arrows, what are meant to line up, point up, so, that's all fine, so there's nothing for me to really worry about. I'm in a bit of an awkward situation here, and I've got the rocker cover off, that's over there with the old gasket. I don't have a 3 8 extension, I need a 3 8 extension to get to the bolts in there. These ones I can get to fine somehow but well, i can't get to them once fine makes absolutely no sense so i'm gonna have to carry on tomorrow because somehow i can lose a 3 8 extension and not be able to find it at all but i've made huge progress for all those people out there who say oh you've done this wrong or you've done it in the wrong order or you've not done this i've marked everything out and bear in mind this is my first time removing the head off of a car be nice <laughs> i think it's the easiest way for me to say it I am a very happy bunny, the head's off. But not just that, if you look, there's the marks from when it's been rebuilt, there's no play in anything. That's made me very happy. Yeah, you can see there, there's marks from where it's been rebuilt, basically. And that's, that's made me happy. Uh, and that's obviously the head. We had to take the cam wheel off, because we couldn't get it past it. Because there's a bolt there, what you can't get to without dropping the engine, which makes a lot of sense. But, I don't know whether I'll make a video rebuilding the whole thing, but if I do, then I will. If you guys have enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe down below, with notifications on. I'll see you guys in the next bloody video.